hi good afternoon um welcome back to mama sanity um today i felt like coming with y'all to y'all um with my devotionals i just felt led that maybe somebody out there um needed to hear this and um it can help y'all in some way because that's my whole purpose in doing this is to help people so um i hope y'all enjoy it and i'll try not to get too long-winded i know i have a tendency to do that so let's get started a wisdom break prevents mistakes. You possess, you possess knowledge. You've been to school. You've had expressions, both good and bad. You've seen a slice of life, but wisdom is different. With wisdom, you know, you know what to do with what you know. For big decisions and small ones, major choices and minor ones, speeches in front of many and whispers to a single person, take a moment to think before you act. That turns knowledge into wisdom. That rings so true. For instance, yesterday my husband and I kind of got a quarrel and a tiff, and things were said that I, you know, wish weren't. But um, the whole thing is, is you know, I've told you, told y'all before. I really try hard to bite my tongue a lot of times, and sometimes I do bite my tongue, and sometimes I don't. And the times that I don't gets me in a lot of trouble. Um, and there's a lot of times that just my reaction. To certain things it has a domino effect and it sets the the tone for the rest of the day and so it can turn out good or it can turn out bad yesterday ended up my reaction turn made things turn out bad so you know it's just one of those things in life lesson learned I can't go back and change it um, but that's what knowledge comes to wisdom is when we put the brakes on our emotions for a minute and we want to say a certain thing or we want to react a certain way but the true wisdom is knowing when to keep your mouth shut and knowing how to react you know it, you, you know a lot of us just react like that like oh I'm, I'm ticked off right now so I'm just gonna blow up and I'm not you know and I'm it's a process that I'm really trying to learn um, it's a daily battle with me on trying to really learn how to control my emotions um, so I want to reach all this little thing off of Pinterest and then it'll kind of tie into my devotionals and Joyce Myers those who died yesterday have plans for this morning and those who died this morning have plans for tonight don't take life for granted in a blink of an eye everything can change so forgive often love with a full heart you never know when you may have that chance again I like this it you know people die every day unfortunately that's just you know people give birth every day people die every day my Colton and I were talking about that the other day um, and it's just the cycle of life you know someone dies someone's born you know every was it like I don't know 30 or 60 seconds or something like that and the whole thing with death is unless that person is dying of an illness or has pre disposition circumstances a lot of us it's it we don't know when we're gonna die right it just it, it happens okay it is you know when God says it's time your time to go it's your time to go um, whether you like it or not so um, this is saying you know most of us have regrets like if, if someone close to us passes away you know I'm sure there's tons of regrets saying I could have would have should have you know or what if what if I'm the what if queen I used to my mom always used to call me the what if queen because I was always you know what if it what if in everything um, and that's not a good way to live because you can what if till the day you die and that doesn't solve anything right so this is saying enjoy your life today enjoy your life now because you never know when it's going to come to an end okay and forgive people and love people and have have compassion and respect for people because you never know when you're going to go or they're going to go and you don't want to be remembered as this mean selfish person right so um just Take that how you want to take it um so that kind of leads me into the devotional this morning um that i do on, so i have several devotionals and one of them is online every morning and so this one was about um a mom who has two kids a teenage a teenager and like a 10 year old and the son a few weeks ago had um 
closed the garage door without closing the back door and bumped it. So she has told the rules over several times. Be careful, pay attention, make sure when that before you close the garage door, because she parks in the garage, um, that you close the back door and it's shut, okay? Because if not, an incident happens, right? So she, her and her daughter went grocery shopping and they're bringing in the groceries and it's the last of the groceries. The teenage daughter's fixing to come in and the mom says, hey, can you please close everything up? Knowing that she's told her kids before, you need to pay attention and make sure what you're doing, okay? But she, okay, mom, so she has groceries and she presses the garage door closed. The back door was still open, garage door comes, bam. So her mom's like, what? Ah! And she comes in, she's freaking out. She's yelling at her daughter. I've told you several times, you need to use your brain. You need to think, what happened? What did you, ah! You know, she's upset. So now her and her daughter are in a fight, right? No bueno, okay, not good. So they're all angry at each other. Karma happened. You'll never guess. Next morning, she is running late for work. She gets in her car. She pushes the button, which she thinks is opening the, the garage door for her to back out, but it's not. It was the back door to her car. It hits. Bam. Okay. So she has an epiphany. Ah. She says, oh my goodness. I just did what I yelled at my kids for. It was an honest mistake. So what is her conclusion, right? Before we put our, need to put our foot in our mouth, we really need to think about what we do, what we say, and how we react to things. Okay, for instance, I've told you that my my son, my kids um, overreact a lot. Okay, and they get frustrated, especially Peyton and Haley. If things don't go like that perfectly, they get very frustrated, and they'll throw something across the room with a bang, or they'll you know tear something up or whatever. Okay, so yes, today is Peyton's taking a star test. And so yesterday he had a math, a timed math practice test on the computer. And I hear him like banging on the computer and get, oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? And then he's like banging on the computer. I'm like, whoa, what? And he goes, this is stupid. I'm so stupid. It's time. I don't have enough time and I can't answer it. No, no, no. And he's just, and so my husband and I said, whoa, step away for a little bit. Calm down. Okay. Like I said last time, how come we don't take our own advice, right? So remember a couple weeks ago, and this happens to me all the time, I'm always bumping into stuff or spilling stuff or messing up because you know I'm just a big goofball and it happens, okay? And sometimes you know I roll with it, I laugh or whatever, and then sometimes I get very frustrated. So like when I spilled my tea a few weeks ago on the counter, when I was having that crazy morning, everything just built up and I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? You know, there's times when my husband's cooking dinner and he spills something all over the counter or the floor and he's like, oh, dang it, ah, you know, okay? But yet, when, if our kids were in that situation, we tell them, what, calm down, step back, that's not how we act, okay? I've told you a million times, monkey see, monkey do. Okay, so how, this is all saying, you know, how are we, like, how am I to tell my kids, you know, like, for instance, they're arguing and they're screaming and yelling at each other, right? And I've told them, stop yelling, stop fighting. Well, it gets escalated and they keep going and keep going, so I go in there and I'm like, stop yelling! but I'm yelling at them to stop yelling. So really what sense does that make, right? Exactly. So the whole point is, is kind of being the hypocrite. We're all hypocrites in some way or another, right? We're, we can easily tell this person, oh, this is not how you behave. This is not how you act. But then they see us doing the same thing. So it kind of like confuses people. And so, you know, who am I to, I'm, I'm always gonna constantly try and teach my kids the right, the right thing to do and the right way to act, right? But it's also a learning process for me and I need to control my actions and reactions and my tongue because my kids see me act a certain way and so how are they really gonna learn? I could talk to them blue in the face, that's not how we react. We don't freak out, you know, you don't need to yell at me because I made a mistake or whatever, it's an honest mistake, but yet I'm yelling at them, but yet I can do the same thing and it be okay, right? So that's it's just it's a learning process we're all learning we're all evolving we're learning together it's an everyday step-by-step -step kind of learning how to just and learn how to think before we react and think before we speak okay um, so Joyce Myers today was talking about um, not getting stuck and living life 
in the here and now. So, you know, everything has a beginning, a middle, and an end, okay? And so, say you're a brand new Christian, or say you've been a Christian for a long time and you've gotten off track, off track and you're coming back on track, you know, that roller coaster that we go through. So, you sit there and you're doing kind of an evaluation on yourself, right? And this is where most Christians, or most people, not even just Christians, but most people get stuck is, okay, so they've made changes in their life, right? And so they look back in the past and they say, oh my gosh, like, look where I used to be. I used to be this. Like, me, my OCD-ness used to be way bad. Like, my parents can tell you stories that you would just be laughing for days. It was bad. I could not mix, I would lay my clothes out for an entire week, right? And I could not mix, match my shirt with my shorts. Like, I couldn't switch them on day, and, it was crazy, right? But I'm not like that anymore. I'm still OCD, but I'm not as bad, okay? So she was talking about people that say, I am way not like I used to be, thank goodness. But, so I'm here now in the middle. But what people tend to do is they look way into the end, where you're supposed to be, okay? And they sit there and that's where they get stuck and that's where they get frustrated is because they look at this long journey of how far they still have to go. And most people sit there and say, that is just so far. I'm trying and I'm trying and trying. And it's like the, the tires that get stuck in the mud, they're just turning and turning and turning and you're not going anywhere and you're getting stuck further, but you can't give up is what she's saying. She said, you can't give up. You can't be stuck in the middle. You can't be stuck in a rut saying, I've got so much far to go. What's the point? No. The point is the here and the now, today. Live for today and don't let anybody steal your joy and enjoy yourself and live life to the fullest. Okay, so I've told you before, we don't have a time capsule to go back in the past and we can't take back the things that we've done or the things that we've said or the people that we heard or the mistakes we've made. It's done, it's over, it's gone. Fly away. It's, it, it's, you can't do anything about it course you can you know apologize and say you're sorry but all you can do is move on and she always says don't try and fix things that you can't fix hence in other words you you can't fix what you did in the past try and work on and do the things you can do meaning live for today do the things that you can do today okay don't even worry about tomorrow which is a big issue for me because I'm a big planner but I'm trying really really hard don't even try and worry and freak out and think about tomorrow when you wake up the next morning God will give you the grace and mercy and, and strength that you need for that day but focus on today and lastly don't let anybody steal your joy this is a big big issue with me okay so I have a I do this a lot a lot not all the time but I do this a lot a lot a lot so I have a tendency so if somebody says something wrong to me or hurts my feelings or I get frustrated or whatever, that kind of sets the mood for the rest of the day. Like I'm just, I'm frustrated and I'm just like, I'm in a grumpy old mood for the rest of the day. And I'm trying really hard. Um, I'm praying to God to give me strength to not do that because of course I can't do anything by myself. I need his strength and mercy to do it. But I don't want to be that grumpy old person every day just because that is my joy, mine. God gave it to me. So it's not for anybody else to steal my joy. So somebody says something mean to you, okay, take it with a grain of salt, but let it roll off your back, okay? And I know that's easier said than done because like I said, I struggle with this on a daily basis. And I'm trying really hard to just, you know, okay, so I got ticked off, I blew up, or I made a mistake, or somebody said something offensive to me, um, I'm going to cool off and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day because you know what? Who knows if I'm going to have tomorrow, right? And so I don't want my last day on earth to be lonely and miserable and grumpy. So um, I hope that helps somebody out there today and I hope that y'all have a great rest of the week and until next time, stay tuned and have a great day. Stay safe.